Welcome back to Vampire. We're in the West End and we're looking for the source of the infection. We've gotten two leads. I'm gonna head to this one first. I suspect this door is gonna be locked and I probably have to go around. Yep, it's red. <laughs> and there's monsters over there. I don't know if I've been this way. Probably not. But yeah, we gotta go around here and then in here. I feel like it's been forever since I fought. Do I even remember how to? Ill-formed Dazzled Skull. That's one of the ones that explodes, right? Ooh, there's a beast over there. I wonder if the AoE hurts other other enemies. Yes, two watery brisk blood samples. I need those to make more potions. Am I using the right weapon, by the way? I'm pretty sure I was. I noticed when I was editing, I don't know, I think two or three episodes ago, that I was accidentally using the machete instead of this. Which might explain some things if I accidentally used it during, like, a boss fight. Might have explained why it seemed like I was doing so little damage. So that might have been a thing. This place is all fucked up. I still want to know what this white stuff is. It's all over the place, not just here, but just all over the city. I don't know what it is. That building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? Have I not been here before? Oh, I'm not even to the building yet. Okay, that just takes me to the courtyard. You. No, 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 no. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Damn you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. This is the one under quarantine, yeah. I want to look around first. Whoa, that was eight codeine. That's a lot. Hey, squeakers.
There we go. Got the shortcut. Okay, quarantined house. No enemies around. Hmm? The hell's going on? Whoa, they're skulls! Well, I'll go upstairs in a minute. Listen to them yell at each other for the moment and <laughs> loot their house. Whoa! Remarkable pump action shotgun, holy hell! A purple level weapon? I've never gotten anything even close to that level before. Picked up in the wild, that is. Let's take a look. Remarkable pump action shotgun. So, magazine holds three. Popular and reliable pump action shotgun manufactured in the United States. Made in the USA. Okay, so how does it compare to Milton shotgun? Keep mind it's a level lower. Does significantly less damage. You know, I haven't figured out the damage for Milton shotgun, though. There's something weird about it. It has much higher damage than most other shotguns. But the thing is, I think it's special because it seems to shoot both both barrels at the same time. And I don't know if other shotguns do that, so that makes me wonder if the number is actually doubled. Because it's basically, you know, two times because you're shooting both barrels at the same time. So it might be kind of unrealistically high in a way. I'm not sure. I haven't used enough other shotguns. I've been using this for, like, most of the game. And rarely at that. That would explain the damage disparity. Uh, reload time. Oh, reload time is so much faster. 5 instead of 15. Fire rate's the same. Damage is obviously much less, but again, I think this is doubled, so this is probably pretty damn good. Only three more good trigger parts, and I can get it up another level. And of course, I got all these specializations, too. Hmm. I think I might switch to that, actually. Heck, I'm going to do it right now. I don't use guns much, but... If I do, I think I want to try this. Let's actually use it. I'll, yeah, let's just use it here. Just to test it out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> we have an arguing skull husband and wife boss fight. That is fucking cool. Alright, here we go. Let's focus on one at a time. Hold on, hold on. Ah. Uh, look at their resistances. The one I'm fighting, the teleporter, Priscilla, is pretty resistant to guns, so let's not bother with that. Resistant to blood, so let's do shadow and physical damage. So I'm putting this shotgun away for this person. I just need to kill one so I can focus on the other. There we go. Okay, woof. Alright, need to get some blood. Uh, you are resistant to physical and guns. Okay, so shadow. Shadow and blood. And blood is just my ult, uh, ultimate. So, mostly shadow. Oh! Uh. 
never seen such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? So, so what is the source of the infection? Is it them or something in the room? It must be them, right? I don't Jonathan said they seem more extreme. They're mutations. But I don't know, they look the same as all other skulls. The only surprising thing is they look like one of the uh, one of the ones that are just frenzied and just attack people and aren't able to really talk. They look like that, but obviously they were talking, they were arguing with each other and sounded perfectly cognizant. So that's a difference. Three good handle parts, nice. That's really good, actually. Good trigger parts, oh yeah. Ooh. Love letter. Darling, thank you for the precious perfume and the fur coat. I can't wait to feel your hands on my shivering skin. For only you, my hero, can make me feel that desired. Please, come back to me soon, for I'm dying to press my timid bosom to your chest again. Yes, my beloved, my precious, come back to me, and I promise you a night of eternal and unbridled passion. Right now, I'm wearing nothing but your last gifts. Oh, yes, I'm burning for you, and I can't wait for you to share my untamable lust. Your devoted Doris Fletcher. So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. Is that related to the source of the infection? I guess. Maybe I should go see this Doris. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Yeah, so nothing marked on the map for Doris Fletcher, so I'm just going to head to the next place, which has vampire hunters outside the front of it. place I need to go? Maybe. Might be a back door or a front door, I'm not sure. I'll probably unlock that from the inside when I go around here to the back. Or front. This is probably the back, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Squeakers! Whoa. Cleanse the first source of infection. Well, it doesn't look like they've mutated. Oh, there's blood all around the rest of the house and another body. Similar thing happened to you? He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. Oh, God. He was a victim of brutal torture. 
Just a trail of bodies. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. I feel like this is a boss fight room. Hmm. your family. They mocked my talent! I knew it. Physical damage is going to be the way to go here. about the explosion again. Ah. I love these rich people's homes. And this is probably the other side of the door, yeah. Letter from the Fletcher Acting School. Dear Elsa, it's with the greatest joy that I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature, and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students. So please remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Yeah, it's common thread between the two families. Doris Fletcher seems to be the missing link here. It can't just be a coincidence. I should go to her acting school. Where is their acting school? There? Yeah. Okay, I've been by there a couple times. I'm away to and from Whitechapel. And I could stop by Lady Ashbury's on the way over there, too. It might be... It is about time that I go to a hideout and level up, too. I've got almost 9,000 XP. That's a lot. Oh, I'm about to get some good upgrades. I can upgrade all of the weapons that I use right now to the max level. Oh yeah. Uh, before that though, let's go ahead and analyze this thick, rich blood sample. It's interesting. So these are obviously the three main potions. Like the potion archetypes, stamina, health, and blood. From late to strong tier. But what is this down here? Oh, antidote! It actually says. I guess we're gonna get that at some point. But yeah, this must be the last tier for blood. Not much else it could be. I still need more watery, sturdy blood samples to make freaking healing potion. 
Stamina I don't really need. At least I can make one strong blood serum. That's something. Right, so to our weapons. Remarkable Hacksaw. There is a huge jump in damage between level 4 and level 5. Level 4, 156. Level 5, 240. Almost 100 more damage. Like all the other increases, 90... Like this increased by like 24, this increased by like 40, and then it increases by almost 100. So, let's do it. And... So I've got two increased damage by 10%, and then this one is forced to be uh, blood absorption. I think I want another blood absorption. Let's even it out. Half damage increase, half blood. I'll get five blood per hit. And for my remarkable pre-win steak, from 36 to 41 stun. And we can choose between Blood Absorption or Increased Stun. Let's go with Increased Stun. And I'm just going to assume that I'm going to switch over to the Remarkable Bump Action Shotgun instead of Milton Shotgun. Yeah, let's just do it. So let's get that up to level 5. Going to go from 352 to 480 damage. Oh, I haven't even gotten the previous tier upgrades right because I picked it up at, the, at tier 4. So I'm still waiting for the White Phosphorus to get this, the Incendiary damage, so I won't touch that one. But all the others, I have the choice between Reloading or Damage, Reloading at Damage. Uh, this is Stun Points or Damage. I'm going to go Damage, Damage, Damage. So from 480 to 528 to 576 to 624. Damn. That's good. That's really, really good. I pretty much have nowhere else to go with my weapons. Uh, I guess I should still do my revolver. I don't think... Yeah, I need five more good trigger parts for that. But I'm almost all the way upgraded. Now for leveling up. Right, so I've gone ahead and spent it on all the body and blood things. So 50 more health, 15% more endurance, 5% more blood capacity, 20% more blood for each bite. And with the leftover, I also got to the next level of autophagy, so I get 100 more healing every time I use it. And then after that, I'm left with 2200, which isn't really enough to upgrade any of... Actually, no, definitely isn't enough to upgrade any of the combat abilities that I want to use. For those, most of those, like Claw, Shadow Mist, Autophagy, Blood Cauldron, all those require around 4000. Coagulation is a bit cheaper at 2700, but I still can't afford that, so I'm just going to save the rest of my XP. I have no idea how the districts are doing, actually. I, like, haven't checked at all. How are we doing? 94%? Oh, it suddenly went down and then back up. Or maybe that was bugged. Maybe the 94% was what it was going to end up as, and it just displayed it first for some reason. Okay. Well, we're, uh, doing pretty good, then. Louise Teasdale. I need to go find them, because they have a headache. I remember I couldn't treat them when I first met them. And Carol Price I couldn't even meet because they're behind a locked door. Okay, and how are we doing in other places? Whitechapel, 94%. Okay, that's good. 84%, not bad. How are we doing in the docks? We went down by 2%. Who is that person? Well, let's test out our new weapons. Got this thrower upper throwing up beneath my window. That is a lot of melee damage. That's a lot of stun damage. Test out Big Thirst. That's a lot of blood. What else to test? Autophagy? I'm not hurt enough though. Well, okay. Let's take some damage, I suppose. Okay, that should do. 
Yeah, it's some really good healing. Nice. Let's end this with the shotgun. They're actually... They're actually extremely resistant to the shotgun. <laughs> they have red resistance. Right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go speak with Lady Ashbury. Tell her about what happened at the Ascalon Club and everything else. It said ever since I left their mansion that they have new dialogue available, so now they probably really have new dialogue available. And then after that, we're going to go ahead to Doris Fletcher's acting theater for the main quest.